any correlation between these leopard people and the other leopard people because the other leopard people are supposedly shapeshifters as well. Shapeshifters as well. Yeah, it's the wine. <laughs> Can you feel my energy now? <laughs> Let me have one more little bit of this. <laughs> um, they're not. They're not related. The um, leopard people who are here. They may have heard of these other, you know, mm -hmm. real leopard people and may try to imitate them a bit, but... No genetic, no nothing connection. No. Huh. I thought there would be, considering the name and all, but you do learn something every day. What else do you have? I am not get um, I have excited. some crystals that I'm going to invigorate or... Great! Um, They're like the little pendulum things. Yeah, put some power into. Okay, you great. Do what you like, cause I trust you. Okay, then, I have more downstairs too. Yep, yeah, I have several here, and then we can use those downstairs. But that one's for love, right there. Is there any way you can do like a special love thing on that Absolutely. one? Absolutely, sure. Good, cause I know somebody that really could use some uh, love juice, or you know, <laughs> love energy, something yeah. like that. And then the last one is um, alien. The alien blood man. Yeah. They're gonna fight. Alien activation. They're gonna fight over it. So you can see. Let me see. Around here, a reptile around the blood moon stone. Is if so? You're talking like reptilian. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh well, hold it up. It was sparking. That is cool. Unfortunately, the reptilian. That is so cool. Hold is. on, I gotta back up the darn camera. That is amazing. Oh, now I'm getting a good shot of it. That's amazing. Oh, I don't, oh, I might stab myself with that one a couple times. Yeah, that is a little. <laughs> that is, okay, now what does that do? Well, Anything with alien though, gosh, I'm not even gonna know uh, yeah, putting it know on. If, I don't know if you could use this at all. Um, Be because, unless you have is it because alien. of my special powers? Yes. I love it when you talk like that. It would. Special powers. It would um, intercept, mm -hmm. you know. I don't think I have alien DNA. I don't know. Right, do you think I do? Right, that's the other thing. I don't, I don't sense any of you. But I have divine DNA. Oh, wow. But no alien. Okay, that's good. And I don't think I want to be an alien. But for those that are, um, what, what can this do for them? It can sort of magnetize. Because the aliens come to earth all the time regularly okay and this kind of helps can they meet those that created them can they meet yeah the ones that yeah people who have the alien um essence okay or um it, it will bring this out it'll emphasize it so that they're easier to detect so that you can detect the alien if you have alien DNA, or so they can detect you. They can detect you. And they find can detect you. you, and find you. Um. But besides that, as long as you have alien DNA, you can use this to your advantage. Okay, as long as you have alien DNA. Okay, I now I'm gonna try to. Um, I know we were gonna talk about the different rooms and stuff when you were supposed to do the radio show. But probably don't have time for that now. No. Yeah, because that's a really long conversation. But um, if you could just tell me a little bit more about the mirror planet and what you've seen lately. I mean, I know your brother's there, and if it upsets you to talk about it, um, I don't want to do that. But if it doesn't upset you... I think it would be real important for some of the people to hear about it only because, as you say, if you have an interest, you're predisposed to maybe reach a higher level of enlightenment and um, maybe try to do something with the world. Because you said right now it's pretty dismal, it's pretty bad, and you give it around 10 years. Yeah, but it is... Um... Can I ask you something real quick? And I always interrupt myself. VM needs to move on this pretty quickly. Is it because, as you see it now, the mirror planet is showing around 10 years, and if something happens to that, what happens to your brother? He ceases? He's, yeah. Because yeah, he's stuck. Mm -hmm. I'll get that to VM over this weekend. That mm -hmm. is, I will be um, with him over the weekend. So. Okay, thank you. I knew I was putting it in the right hands. 
No, I, yeah, I will. Since VM and I never get it off. Yeah. Why is that? Do you think? Uh, I think it's because you're a lot. Or... That you know, I think it's the philosophy too. But I, I will tell you something. Some, um, some of the customers had emailed me, and he had done this show, and he said that the World Health Organization was going to be releasing a terrible virus. And he specifically, I believe he specifically started saying swine flu. And then the swine flu, H1, whatever the heck it is, has hit. And they started emailing me saying, we remember the show. This is what he said was going to happen. But yet you go to the mirror planet to prevent things. Why doesn't he do that? Is it because of his philosophy that destiny is as it is? Yeah, I don't think he wants to... Um just intercede you know he doesn't want to stop anything he figures if it's meant to be let it go and I think he ultimately believes that humanity is doomed anyway yeah I think he does too and he he doesn't see hope or think that it's really worth saving I think he why do you think he doesn't think that humanity is worth saving when I've tried to introduce him to people that want to become enlightened that want to become more understanding of the whole consciousness of you know this planet and others and it doesn't seem to phase him do you know why that is i don't know i maybe he's just been hardened you think so hmm that would be um... but why didn't you think so you think basically you and him don't get along just because if it it's the way you two see things because I don't see things like he does and we do get along but he's just too dark and brooding he is dark isn't he I don't want to gossip but he is dark he is very dark he's um he seems to he's too heavy just he is heavy brings me down you know I feel like everything that I'm trying to do is in vain when he yeah. talks. I can see that. What about Shine? You like him? Well, sure. He's always been my friend and uh, comrade. Because he hasn't been around in a while. I was wondering if you knew what was going on with him. Yeah. Can you tell me anything? No. At all? No. I can't say his whereabouts or anything because... There might be others who are here, you know, or who see this mm -hmm. and could thwart his efforts, you know. Okay. Even if they know where he is, they'll know what his purpose for being there. Okay. Um, how bad is the Mirror Planet? Other than starvation and wars, do you see uh, massive amounts of people dead right now? Oh, yeah. How much of the population is gone? Right now it's about half. Half? Yeah, half or a little more. Let me ask you this. Knowing that you can come into a room and feel a person and know what they're about, and being here on the earth at this time, you, I'm sure you feel um, various types of energies from the different people that you run into. Everybody's different. Good, bad, in between, whatever. On the mirror planet, are all of those people of one feeling? Those who are left, yeah. Really? And what kind of feeling do they give off? Negative. Negative. Just very negative energy. So could we say that the people that are no longer there are were of good or just you don't know? They were either good and or um, just neutral you know we're not aware we're not into mm -hmm. um, they didn't gravitate towards any the paranormal or super natural um, well not everybody I, I don't think like half of a population would be into like the supernatural the paranormal so it could be like other things maybe they were just born kind of enlightened or maybe through reincarnated means are they all are they fully human on the mirror planet or is the mirror planet kind of like an delusion type it's place? It's more of a delusion. It's kind of like a looking glass or, you know, a glass ball. But yet people are truly there. But yet they're not human. 